time. Very risky choice. It's Kate Moss. I think there are two things that make her face a Kate Moss face. First of all is her prominent cheekbones and also small and wide set eyes. So let's start. I've already applied my foundation. Today it was Pupa Silk Touch. I'm gonna powder my face with my MAC light powder. I'm gonna sculpt my face with this MAC eyeshadow, which is pink, brown, gray, something like this. And it's a perfect shade for making your cheekbones for the photo. But in real life, it might look like a gray line. I'm looking at her picture now, and I can see that her cheekbone starts from the middle of her ear, like this. And it goes to her mouth, up to here. And then goes a little bit down, like this. And the darkest place is here. So I'm gonna blend there and I'm gonna leave that very precise line in the middle of my cheek. Now I'm gonna add some white matte eyeshadow on some areas of my face. For example, this jawline, she has it lower. And I'm gonna whiten it. I need to move it forward a bit. Let's make a bigger chin. Good. So now I'm going to add a little bit here. These parts of her face are very round. So I'm adding this white eyeshadow on this part. And everything will be blended in the end, so it would look more natural. But anyway, I'm gonna do pictures. For, for the pictures, it's fine. Now I'm gonna draw a thinner line to mimic a natural shadow. Her nose is shorter and her tip is thinner. There are some shadows coming from her nose down here, like this. I'm gonna lift my nose up here. That's the natural shadow she has on her nose here. I'm gonna apply some white eyeshadow on my eyes. I'm also gonna widen my brows. I'm gonna shrink my eyes, make them smaller. I'm gonna apply black pencil. I'm gonna add some same sculpting eyeshadow on my bottom lid. On the outer corners of my eyes, like a V-shape a little bit. Now I'm gonna add some mascara. As you can see, I'm not touching my brows at all because her brows are very, very, very thin and very light. Her lips are fuller than mine and her upper lip is fuller than her lower lip. I'm gonna move forward that area apply some concealer. I picked a darker color for now, but I'm gonna blend it. This color is about two or three shades darker than my lip color, but it's still a lip shade color. blend it to the temples. Now let's experiment and add some black pencil to the waterline in the inner corners of my eyes. She does that very often. I'm gonna add some black pencil on my lids, like this, without blending it upwards. I'm gonna apply some gray eyeshadow on my lid. So blend it. Now I'm gonna eat my chocolate and do some pictures. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching and I see you soon. Bye-bye.